Yes, yes, yes. Once again, people, it is time for Funko News. Have, I'm not posting a video as early as I really wanted to this weekend, and that is because some things just came up. You know, life happens. So, yeah, I got kind of held up on posting the video, and I'll tell you real quick what happened. Yesterday, I was about to go out on a pop hunt to try to find some things for some friends because people have really hooked me up lately, and if you've been watching my videos, you see that. You know, people have been really kind lately, so... I was going to go try to hunt to find some pops for some friends and a tire blew out on me and I actually heard it about to happen. Really was nothing much I could do about it though so the tire blew out on me. Luckily I was close enough to a gas station um, maybe like a, just a quarter mile or so I was able to get there quickly, change the tire, put my spare on and then ease my way back home because it was not real real far from home but further than I would like to drive on a spare basically and I knew I wasn't going to be able to get a replacement at that time of day. So I eased my way back home and then today I went ahead and got a spare tire on and it took hours. Like I was waiting for a long time just because um, Saturday is like the worst day to go get your car worked on because so many people are out there, you know, taking care of that. So yeah, it was a very long wait. But, you know, got that all handled, got my adulting out of the way. So we move on, you know, so because this video is up a little bit later, I actually have decided that I really want to go ahead and share something with you all. So make sure that you stick around to the end of the video. Not a ton of Funko news this week, but trust me, what I'm going to share with you all at the end is going to make it totally worth it to watch this whole video. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe. I need everybody to make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, hit the like button. Still getting only a small percentage of likes, so let's work on that because I really want to get this information out there to people and... um Definitely make sure you comment as well, and trust me, it's going to benefit you. Like I said, stick around to the end, and don't be impatient and jump to the end. Be patient, people. <laughs> All right, let's go in and get into the Funko news for the week of May 27, 2017. So starting off here, and this is a very timely um, piece of news here, so hopefully you're watching this when this video first goes up. If you're interested, Funko is having a summer sale, which... The way they advertised it, I really thought it was going to be more than this, but I guess, you know, something's better than nothing. So 10% off right now on the Funko sites. That does include the Funko Shop and their subscription boxes as well. You can get 10% off of your total purchase if you use the code FUN10, F-U-N-10. You see it there. Okay, so I would go ahead and jump on that and take advantage of that if you plan on getting something from the Funko Shop or if you plan on... um you know subscribing to one of their boxes or just giving one a try whatever it may be you know you might as well get the little bit of savings there you know while it's available so again that time is of the essence there because you see that this 29th is the last day of this sale next up here focusing on what is showing up in stores right now now I'm not gonna show whole sets here I just give you an idea of what's available out there so the most recent Batman 66 figures which does include the Riddler and also that Riddler chase figure in Mr. Freeze okay these are showing up in stores and if you're not sure about the whole wave you can look it up or you can check out one of my previous videos that had that full wave in it um, also Five Nights at Freddy's pretty much always there's some new pop figures on the way and um, they do have some more available right now including this chase figure of Cupcake which at first I thought that maybe like was the nightmare version but the nightmare version is actually somewhere else and I will share that with you all so again there are some new Five Nights at Freddy's figures out there also the Mr. Robot figures if you're a fan of that show me personally I need to get to that show I do really do want to binge watch it see what it's all about just wait until I have some time from work to really get into it but um, yeah, Mr. Robot, the, that wave of figures is showing up. And again, also there is a chase, the Elliot Anderson chase. Okay, from the movie Valerian, and I'm not going to say that full title. <laughs> it has a very long title, but I think most people are probably just going to refer to it as Valerian. But that upcoming movie does have two chase figures within it, the character that you see there. And I'm not sure if it's just one character or a race of characters, what exactly is going on there. I guess we really won't know until the movie comes out. But again, that wave has two chase figures within it. The Despicable Me, excuse me, Despicable Me 3 pop figures are showing up and remember that there is a chase within that series as well that spy version of the main character they have a black one which is the common and then the white one is the chase figure and I guess I just have chase on the brain for some reason but moving on here if we look at the right side of the screen 
if you're able to go to a Disney parks, um, whether it be, you know, in course in Cali or Florida, um, they have restocked the Jolly Roger pop figures because I'm pretty sure those sold out very quickly. I know the first day they were released, a lot of people were lined up for them. So yeah, they have restocked them if you're able to get to one of the Disney parks. Um, also available online, that Wonder Woman Walmart exclusive, which I know some people have still been looking for, actually is available on their site at a really good price, pretty much the same what you would find it for in the store, which is like around like eight seventy five or so. And do remember that it, there is the option to go and pick it up from Walmart as well, so you don't have to deal with the shipping. So if you live close to a Walmart, I think that's worth it. And like I said previously, and like I showed you all previously, when you get um, figures from Walmart, when they get shipped to the store or shipped directly to you, they may have stickers on the box, but they do come off pretty easily. Just be, you know, careful with them and they do come off pretty easily. So don't freak out over that. Moving on here to the most recent item on the Funko Shop, it was this Dorbs 3-pack based off of Masters of the Universe, of course, villains here. So it has Trap Jaw, Scare Glow, and Spike Or. And at the time of the recording, this is still available for $25 plus shipping, of course. You do have to keep that in mind. Usually their shipping runs about $7, like 6 and some change, but very close to $7. So yeah, keep that in mind as well. And like I said, at the time of this recording, that at, that is still available and um me personally I, i'm i the only he-man figure that i wanted to get i pretty much have and that was the dwarves ride of he-man on battle cat but uh i would be interested to see if anybody else picks this up but you know i'll definitely watch an unboxing of it because i'm kind of interested in these figures you know what they look like up close keeping it moving here another new product or I really shouldn't say a new product but something that is limited edition and they're really putting two items together here so they're saying pop and pint packs i think that title is a little bit misleading they should have really just went ahead and said pop tea and pint packs because that's really what it is so you get the t-shirt and then of course you get a pint size figure as well so you see here they have the um the green ranger along with the zord there the um I'm not even sure this is the exact name of it. Somebody can let me know down in the comments and I don't want to tear it up and disrespect the fans. So just know that they do have that green Zord there as well. That's the pint size figure that you get along with it. Um, Rick and Morty, they have a shirt as well. And of course, it comes with a pint size Rick. I wish I had a larger image of the Rick figure. I wasn't able to find one, but yeah, it does come with Rick. And then also, they have a Negan shirt, which I think is pretty cool. I love that he's actually pointing the bat like towards you know out towards who's ever looking at the shirt and of course it does come with that pint size negan which is pretty cool so yeah i really do like these um and there is supposed to be another one because if you look at the numbers at the top left you see there's a number one um there's a number four there's a number two number three we're not sure what that is right now when i say we the community I haven't seen anybody share the number three yet so maybe it actually hasn't been available yet but if anybody knows about that please let me know down in the comments and um, look for these at Target. As far as I know, that's the only place that these have shown up. And remember, it does say limited edition. So if you're interested, get out there and look right now because people really are starting to snatch these up. Keeping it moving here, I said I would come back to this, the Spider-Man Mystery Minis, because I didn't know about the exclusives before. Funko finally shared that. And remember that these are available right now. So let me go ahead and run through these. Now, the box, or I should say the case, all the way to the left that is the av just, just the normal case. You can find this pretty much anywhere. And it does include um, the Lizard, Rhino, and Sandman. So pretty good villains there. And then with the, um, the exclusives that get switched out here, if you look at Target, they have the Unmasked Spider-Man, they have Anti-Venom, and then they also have Stealth Spider-Man. Okay, so pretty cool exclusives there. And then Walmart also has some pretty cool exclusives. They have the Unmasked Spider-Gwen, Hobgoblin, which looks pretty awesome, and then they also have Iron Spider, which looks pretty awesome. I really do like uh, the designs of these figures. I just haven't gotten any yet because I'm um, really trying to balance finances and trying to take care of something big for my channel right now. So that comes first pretty much, and also trying to look out for some friends as well. That comes first. But, you know, when I take care of all these other things, if these boxes are still around, I might have to actually pick a couple of them up. 
Now, some other minis on the way that I think look pretty cool. They, they're just so much personality right away when you look at these minis here. These Dr. Seuss mystery minis, which will be available in July. And there will be Barnes & Noble exclusives. They have not actually shown images of them yet. I think it's going to be two different versions of Dr. Seuss. One of them, him with the, um, the goldfish in the bowl. And then I think the other one's called Whitefish or... I, I want to say it's Whitefish. I'm not sure who that character is. But, um... Because I haven't read like all of the Dr. Seuss books. And then it's been so long since I've read some Dr. Seuss books. So uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with all the characters. But again, I like these designs. I think they have a lot of personality to them. And check out the Grinch. I think the Grinch looks awesome. Really great. Um, his attitude is very mischievous. Smile going on. So yeah, these are pretty awesome. I think these are going to do pretty well. Next up here, again, focusing on Five Nights at Freddy's, starting off here with the sister location, Plushies, on the left-hand side there. You see that these will be available in August, and there is an Exotic Butters exclusive at Hot Topic. I don't play the game, so I really don't know what Exotic Butters is all about. Maybe somebody could let me know, you know, but, um, yeah, that will be a Hot Topic exclusive again. August release for those and then you look at the right side of the screen here for a mid June release so this is pretty soon they had the balloon boy which is a Walmart exclusive and then here is the nightmare cupcake which will be a Target exclusive so yeah if you're really into Five Nights at Freddy's like I've always said you got to kind of move around because they do put different exclusives at different stores I know in my area I still have been seeing plenty of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's exclusives in different stores including um Target especially. WWE fans who collect pops had a lot to be happy about this week. Very cool announcements. So they have Chris Jericho with his list in hand. Um, I still kind of feel like though that they should do a younger Chris Jericho as well. I think that'd be awesome to see um, more, of, more of his kind of loud appearance. Um, maybe with his arms outstretched and everything. That I think that would be cool but don't know if that's going to happen or not, but regardless, they do have Chris Jericho there. I'm going to jump down below him. You see Sasha Banks, the boss, who I think is very, um, very great personality. She's very often on Austin Creed's gaming channel, Up, Up, Down, Down, which is pretty entertaining. I really love when she's on there hanging out, as well as Bailey. They just have great personalities, a lot of fun in the videos. And Sasha Banks is brave enough to do some of the crazy bets and challenges that they do on there, as well as Bailey. Now, moving over here to the right side, we got the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. His entrance music is absolutely my favorite song ever from the WWE. I really love that song to this day, that money, money, money. I just, I love that entrance. It's so good. And um, you see that they have a Chase version as well, him in the white suit. I know some fans have said that they probably should have put him in the green suit, which is definitely understandable. I mean, he is the Million Dollar Man, but I think the white looks pretty sharp. And then they have the Iron Sheik as well. Um, and again, the only difference with the Chase figure is a color change. He has the red cloth on his head instead of the white there. I think they probably could have done something maybe a little more interesting with him just because I think going from a black suit to a white suit, it seems simple, but it makes a big difference. Like that white suit really jumps out. But with the Sheik, I just don't think it's enough of a difference. That's my personal opinion there. I think they could have did something maybe a little more interesting with his Chase figure. And then still with a focus on WWE here, um, at the top there we got Enzo and Cass. This will be a Walgreens exclusive August release. And I want to say this is the first time that I've seen a two-pack available as a Walgreens exclusive. I can't recall ever seeing that before. Somebody let me know if you've ever seen one, but I think this might be the first time. And then Chris Jericho, there is a FYE exclusive with just some subtle color changes as well. Therefore, an August release. Once again, all these are August releases. And then Bailey, I just mentioned her a moment ago. She has a great pop design. I really do like that, especially her headband. I'm a hugger. That's pretty cool there. And she is a Toys R Us exclusive. So yeah, be on the lookout for all of these because, you know, with Funko, I've said this before, they give that release window, but a lot of times pop starts showing up a little bit earlier. So just be on the lookout for these. And of course, once they start showing up and people are sharing them on social media, I will let you all know. Now, Lemmy, this pop seemed like it was pretty popular. I think a lot of people have love for Lemmy of Motorhead. Okay, and um, he came out the same time as Amy Winehouse, which was another pretty popular pop from the Pop Rocks line. Now, 
this gold figure of him actually does have some basis because there is a gold Lemmy statue in a particular restaurant. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But um, yeah, so it does have some basis there, some legit legitimacy to it. And not really much details about this figure beyond that. Don't know when it's going to be released. And as far as it being a Toys R Us exclusive, that's basically a rumor right now. Once anything is confirmed, of course, I will share that with you all. I wouldn't be surprised if that's true, though, because I know at Toys R Us, when I go there, I do tend to see um, Lemmy, although I think Lemmy is pretty much sold out of my area now. But um, I know I would also see Amy Winehouse as well. So again, I wouldn't be surprised if that's where he's going to be exclusive. But like I said, once it gets confirmed and there is a confirmed release date, I will definitely share that with you all. Keeping it moving here with Nega Duck, enemy to Darkwing Duck. Okay, and you see the original wave of the Darkwing Duck, those figures down there in the bottom right. So Nega Duck will be a PX Previews exclusive, which means that you can find this one in comic book shops. Um, I don't know for sure if FYE will get it, but they do tend to get PX Previews exclusive. And this one is available for pre-order on various websites. Um, I shared um, some websites several times recently, so um, I know in the link to the... At the, I was saying the description of the last Funko News, I know I linked some websites, so you can check that out. But yeah, there are several different websites where you can go and pre-order this figure as well. I definitely like his color scheme, and as I was looking up images of Negaduck for this video, I came across that image you see there on the right of the other villains, and I was just like just overtaken with nostalgia, because I, I used to really watch Darkwing Duck, and I had forgotten about these villains, but... Yeah, he has some really cool villains, um, really fun series. It makes me want to watch the series again. Almost, I'm almost afraid to watch it, though, just because some series don't hold up well, and I really don't know how well Darkwing Duck holds up, but I know I used to really love that series. Okay, but Nega Duck will be up for a mid-June release, so not far away at all. Shenron. Now, this is another big piece of news for this week. I know a lot of people were happy to see this one. It is available now for pre-order, and in fact, to make it easy for you, I'm going to put a link down in the description. Now, at the time of this recording, he had not sold out as far as pre-orders are concerned, but I'm going to say if you're interested, do not hesitate. You better hop on this one because I think that is an incredible design. I really like the base that actually has the Dragon Balls there around him. This is a six-inch pop figure as well, and it's up for a mid-July release, so again, I'm going to link it down in the description. Hopefully it will still be available by the time you check this out. If you are interested, I think pretty much any Dragon Ball fan would be glad to have this figure. And this is a Galactic Toys exclusive. So that's the link that I'm going to put down in the description. Now, there's one rumor. Usually I don't address rumors about Funko Pops. You know, if I don't have images of the actual figures... But I think this is one rumor I just can't pass up, and I think that is going to be proven to be true. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm like 95% sure that this is going to be proven to be true. And what's crazy is literally the day before this rumor came out and people actually showed a, a sheet of upcoming Funko Pops and these figures were listed... I was just, I was floored by that because literally the day before I had just talked to a friend about how Funko has pretty much all the bases covered except for one big franchise and that is Mortal Kombat. So yes, there has been a list going around showing that these are the figures that are going to be available possibly for an August release. So the figures they have listed are Liu Kang, Katana, Raiden, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. This seems, like I said, it seems pretty legit to me and I think it does make sense that these would be the figures in the first wave because these are pretty much the most popular characters. Like when you think about the series, I think these are pretty much the most popular characters. Katana might be a little debatable. I, I don't know, Sonya Blade is probably more popular than her just because she was in the first game. But yeah, these are some big characters. Um. And as far as popularity goes, I know Johnny Cage is missing, but of course, if they're doing Mortal Kombat figures, I think Johnny Cage has got to be in the second wave. And even more important than Johnny Cage, in my opinion, you know, I would really love to see, and I'm not saying that they're going to do him, but I think they absolutely have got to do a six inch, got to be six inch, a six inch Goro figure. I would love to see that. Now, you all let me know what you think about that. Do you think they should do... um? 
not only do Goro, but do you think it should be like a six inch version of Goro? I, like I said, I would just love to see that because I've always liked that character, you know, back when he was just the boss character in the first game and then his portrayal within the movie. And I do love that they actually used like Robox and everything within the movie for him. Of course, nowadays we know that would be CG, but at least CG is to a point where it does make sense to do it as CG, you know, so... Yeah, I, I really hope that happens. And also let me know what other Mortal Kombat characters would you like to see as pop figures. And let's all keep our fingers crossed that these designs turn out cool looking. I really hope they do. Um, there are some details they just got to get right. Like with the ninjas, I think the ninjas have got to have the white eyes. Of course, that's a must. You know, there, there's just some little things that they got to get right with these figures. And I think they could be very cool. So moving on here for... Marvel Collector Core, for people that signed up for a year initially, they did get a Founder's Gift, which was a gold Captain America statue. So for the second year of Collector Core, there is a prize coming up. Um, I guess you could call it a prize or a gift. You know, they say gift, so I'll go with gift. But um, I don't have an image of the actual gift yet. I don't think that's been revealed, but they've put out... Well, I don't even say they'll put out. I'll just say there's another rumor. So yeah, again, I'm addressing a rumor. But it seems like a strong possibility that for the second annual Founders Gift, it's going to be a golden Spider-Man statue. So it will be a statue once again, but this time, golden Spider-Man. Now, that's not 100% sure, but again, it seems very likely. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, he is one of the most popular characters, especially now that, you know, we have this movie coming out, Spider-Man Homecoming. So yeah, I would not be surprised to see that. And those of you that signed up for a full year... Just be on the lookout, you know, we'll see if this proves to be true or not. Now, I told you all before to stick around and I would make it worth your while. And I've been teasing this just a little bit, not as much as I really wanted to. And um, actually, I was going to tease this out for a little while longer, but it seems like I might hit 1,000 subscribers a little bit sooner than I expected because I've been picking up subscribers now pretty much on a daily basis. So uh, at the time of this recording, I'm very close to 900 and usually when I put up a Funko News video, then I, I get sort of a burst of um, subscribers. So I figured I better go ahead and share these details with you all right now instead of doing all the teasing. So let me go ahead and get into it. FM's chase for 1K. Here are the details and the rules. Okay, so first of all, you must be a subscriber in the U.S. or Canada. And that is particularly to get free shipping. Now, I'm not going to exclude my international subscribers but I'm going to tell you all and remind you all, I'm not a rich man and international shipping can be costly. So this is what I'm going to do. And if somebody feels this is unreasonable, I mean, you don't have to enter the giveaway. You know, I'm trying to do something out of kindness. So if you don't like this, that's fine. You don't have to enter. And you, if you comment, you can let me know whether you're in the giveaway or not. Okay, so if you're an international subscriber, let's say you're in the UK or Germany, somewhere else. And you, and you decide that you want to enter, I do expect you to cover the shipping costs. Okay, I'll take care of the figures, but it's going to be on you to cover the shipping costs, and you will have to have a way to work that out with me. Okay, so that's the only way I can handle to do that right now, because like I said, I'm not a rich man, and I am trying to take care of some other things as well. As a matter of fact, my next um, giveaway already after this one is going to be originally i was saying it'll be sort of a mix between star wars and magic and then in the comments of that video everybody was like no star wars star wars star wars star wars you know and i'm like i wish you all had said that from the beginning but it's all good so i'm gonna make it all star wars focused and that'll probably be later in the summer i can't really do that right now but later in the summer this summer i am going to try to have an all star wars giveaway so moving on, still focusing on the chase for 1K. So if you're under 18, of course, you need to get a parent's permission. You can't just, you know, share your address without permission. So make sure you get your parent's permission if you're under the age of 18. I do want you to comment on this video and you can um, respond to anything I talked about in the video. Just give me some general thoughts about the figures that are up and coming. Those sorts of things. Please don't tell me that you hope you win. It's going to be a random drawing in the long run. So... I'm just not a fan of those type of comments like, I hope I win or, um, you know, I could really use it because I'm feeling kind of down and my puppy's sick and all, you know, just please don't do that type of thing. You know, it's going to be random. So let, let's just keep it on, on the level, you know, basically or whatever. It's, it's going to be a fair, random drawing. So just keep that in mind when you comment. Also, 
and definitely pay attention to this if you share this video this video right here on social media you will get five extra entries so what I'll need you to do is once you share it you can give me the comment down in the link and it may go to spam but don't worry about that because I do check my spam folder on a regular basis or you could just let me know where I can go and look to find that where you shared the video okay so that's a very simple way to get yourself five extra entries and believe me not everybody's gonna do it so you do want that leg up to give yourself a better chance of winning next up here says the random drawing I'm not gonna set a date to it because I really can it's gonna be based on when I surpass 1,000 subscribers now people help me out here if you see that I have 1,000 subscribers exactly please don't freak out and don't hit me up and say oh you got 1,000 subscribers when this when's the drawing I believe in waiting until I'm past my goal that way I feel like it's a solid number because if I let's say I hit 1,000 subscribers then I go to do the drawing I might have a dead account that drops off or I may have somebody that just decides they don't want to follow my videos anymore and they unsubscribe so I like to have a solid number so I will have to surpass 1,000 subscribers before I focus on the drawing once I do the drawing I need the prize to be claimed within 48 hours or I will have to do another drawing so do make sure you're on the lookout for the drawing video and I won't hide it anywhere I won't bury it at the end of another video I will make sure that I put directly on there FM's chase for 1k and it'll say drawing or giveaway something like that I'll basically let you know that that is the drawing okay and this is important as well and this is why I need you all to make sure that you hit the like button share the video because this is gonna help with this if I reach 1k that's 1,000 subscribers by June 15th and that's a fair amount of time there will be two winners instead of one let me say that again if I reach 1k by June 15th I'm gonna have two winners instead of one so details and rules are here you know come back and check it out if you need to and I'm pretty sure right now you all want to know the prize or I mean I could wait on it if you want me to and just share it next time but um, I'm listening okay it sounds like people want me to go in and share what the prizes are so let me not tease that anymore let's go ahead and get to it here so of course I called it the chase for 1k for one for a reason so here are the prizes and on the left hand side we have here the Punisher chase figure with the Punisher common as well so basically that's the first option that's the first option on the right hand side we have the Snagglepuss chase which is glow in the dark by the way in the snagglepuss common along with it so that is the second option so basically if you win this giveaway you get to choose either the punisher chase with the punisher common or the snagglepuss chase with the snagglepuss common that's absolutely your choice now if we actually do get to have two winners like i said if i get 1000 subscribers on or before the 15th then whoever is second whoever gets drawn second they will get whichever prize the first person does not choose so that's the way this is going to work so like I said thumbs up the video make sure that you share it because the quicker we get to 1k you know the more likely that I can have two winners instead of just one so I really want to stress this people you know I've been, I put in a lot of work with these videos and I'm definitely digging in my pockets to make this giveaway happen so I really want to see some support you know help out with this and you know increase your odds by sharing the video so that's gonna do it for now I hope that was worth it like I said I really want to make it worth your while to check out this whole video so I really hope that was worth it remember what I said I, I do want you to comment but please know I hope I win comments that's not going to affect the drawing I'm just not a fan of those type of comments oh something else I need to say here because I do have a lot of YouTube friends I'm not asking anybody to make a video to promote this you know that's something that I'm just personally not that comfortable with even when I did my Disney giveaway I did have people make a video but I told them not to mention my channel or the giveaway at all it's just not something I'm really comfortable with I don't think it's the strongest way to promote on YouTube I mean that's basically the gist of it I'm not putting down anybody else that asks people to make videos but just 
Me personally, I'm not a big fan of that. So again, I'm not asking any, anybody to make a video. I'm just asking you to share this particular video here on social media and let me know where you shared it so I can check it out and you can get your extra entries. I'm going to go ahead and say good luck to everybody. You know, hope you enjoy this giveaway and that you're appreciated and everything. I definitely appreciate you for watching the video and liking and everything, you know, and you all take care till next time.